Sometimes firepower isn't all as necessary. Sometimes terror is the only option. Sometimes all you need is a little reliability. The Glock 18, a low caliber polymer pistol known as the starter pistol for CS2 and CSGO alike. Why was it chosen as the starter pistol? How has it become the icon for clutch moments? How did the Glock get its bad reputation? What is the damage and recoil? And, most importantly, how is it so much better than CT pistols? The turn of the millennium brought forth many achievements. The invention of the USB flash drive, LinkedIn, and many innovations in the game space. One such innovation, Counter-Strike. Fast-paced FPS focused on teamwork and skill. The game was well received by the public and became arguably one of the greatest of all time. The Counter-Strike franchise has released multiple games over the past 20 years. Its most famous, CSGO, or now known as CS2. This franchise has multiple variants, Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike Source, Condition Zero, and many more. One thing that has been the same with all games is the Glock 18. It has always been the default pistol on the terrorist side. But why? 1986. The Austrian military needs a new sidearm pistol. It needs to be simple, compact, and reliable. Gaston Glock was up for the challenge. The new Glock 18 was light, made of plastic polymer, compact, and sported a high-capacity 17-round magazine. It was simple, only having 34 components. So how did it make it to Counter-Strike, and especially the terrorist side? In the late 20th century, the Glock was under siege by media. Its plastic frame led to concern it couldn't be seen by airport x-rays and its high-capacity magazine could be dumped in the crowds of people. A perfect, recognizable weapon for a terrorist organization. The wake of 9-11 pushed this notion even further, and it fit right in with the Counter-Strike franchise, especially as a symbol for the bad guys. On paper, the Glock is truly the right arm of the cruel world. Of course, being the starter pistol added to the skill and recognition to any clutches with the weapon. Nothing is more clutch than eliminating an enemy team with the default option. Zelsis did this in 2019 on Mirage, a 1v5 professional clutch for a cash prize. He beat the odds versus a much better team in the first round. The first round can set the tone for the entirety of a match. If you find yourself in a deathmatch game, it's more than likely you will find someone running around, practicing their skills with a Glock. So what are the specifications of this run-of-the-mill starter firearm? As previously mentioned, it boasts a high-capacity magazine. However, it's 20 rounds and not the standard 17. It's accurate out to 20 meters, allowing you to pick at your opponents while hiding in the shadows. But be careful, because after 20 meters, it becomes more like a Negev instead of an op. The damage is mid-range at best, and it doesn't one-shot headshot past 12 meters like its USB counterpart. At best, you can expect a four-shot kill if you don't hit the head, and at worst, five shots to the body and three to the head. It doesn't have the best recoil either, so spam firing should be out of the question. But the Glock has one trick up its sleeve. If you're feeling daring and slightly insane, you can throw accuracy and shot placement out the window with the burst fire mode. Screw accuracy when you can pepper your opponents with 1200 rounds per minute of 9mm. This is what sets it apart from other pistols. The three shot burst can kill an opponent up front and give you a higher chance of hitting at least one shot from range. In the first round of a game, this can give you a mini SMG for no added cost. It may not be pretty or the best pistol money can buy. But for free, you can't beat it. A symbol of terrorism and a default option for a broken rebellion. Oh.
The Glock 18. Reliable. Cruel. Undetectable. Thank you so very much for watching. Weapons of CS2 will return next week.